my old mill ran off during the night and left this old iron in its place. It sacrifices vertical height, but it's a lot more rigid. It has no quill, which is a pain for drilling and tapping. It has horizontal milling, a swiveling head. It has comparable travel as well. It has a much bigger motor and it's belt geared rather than electric direct drive. Much more torque. I plan on putting a slotting head in, a precision riser block underneath to jack the mill up and give myself more vertical height. Now this gives me some ideas. Essentially got a power takeoff gear. Other cool thing, lots of mountain holes. Put some pretty serious attachments on here. Factory scraped. The big problem with this mill is all these fittings. The previous owner was injecting grease into them all. I've done my best to clean them out and put oil in them. Grease just doesn't get in there like the oil does. Seriously, even though it looks like a grease port, oil your machine. This dial reads 5mm, it only moves 4mm. The mill came with the original x-axis lead screw. For you, a couple of seconds will have passed. For me, this is a month onwards. Got some issues. Have a look in here. This whole comb pulley system rotates on the spindle, but there's a chip or something galled up in there so it doesn't spin. I have to take the whole thing apart. Alright, let's get into this. Putting some pressure on, but I'm not going too crazy. I'm using the fine side of the stone. I don't want to actually change the surface. I just want to take out any high spots. Make sure you flush out any of the grit that remains. All right, pulling spacer, bull gear. You know, just clean them up and give them an oil. Okay, I just want to show you this. This is why you need to keep oiling your machines. My finger, while well, it's not the cleanest. I've already done this one, so I've got rid of half of it. Look at that. Filthy. Of course, if you're oiling, you're constantly flushing all that out. So, and you're producing like an oil film for it to run on, so you're not going to get as much wear. I had a problem with this section of the shaft. So that's where the gear seats. Problem was, it started to go on. I think when I was hammering earlier, I fucked up that gear surface.